In this Knowledge Smart Support video, we will run through how to view your assessment results. Your assessment results are available from the results main menu and submenu data. Use the drop down on the right hand side to filter down to the results linked to a specific account. You can also specify whether you would like to see 20, 50 or 100 results per page. To look at the results of an individual, simply click the assessment score to open up the detailed assessment report. To filter your results, you can either use our search functionality or grouping. Let's take a look at search first. Click show search. And here you will be able to search via any of the data fields provided here. Notice that you are even able to filter or search via some of the background information that Knowledge Smart captures during the assessment process. So here I've just applied a filter of Revit tests only and notice my list has now come down to six results. So at this point in time, I might need to look at grouping these results into a relevant group. Knowledge Smart offers two types of groups. The first is static grouping and the second one is dynamic grouping. Let's take a look at the first option. The first thing I want to do is create a group name. Once I have my group name defined and I have filtered down to my list of results, I can use select all and go and add them to the group here on the top right. And I get confirmation that 10 results have been moved to that group for me. I can edit a group title here. I can remove people from the group by using this button here. And if I need to delete the group, I can use this button here. If I want to take an export of a specific group, I can take advantage of the export result to CSV area here. If I open up this drop down list here, I notice five specific areas that Knowledge Smart allows me to export data for. Now let's take a look at dynamic groups. Dynamic Groups allows you to create groups which will automatically update when new test results are added to your dashboard. We click Show Dynamic Groups and New Group. I give my group a name and click OK. And next up, I will specify the rules of this group. So I have indicated I want to group the results from my London office. That is the assessment title. I only want to look at people who have indicated they have one to three years experience and their start year was 2017. Notice once again, we give you the ability to export those filtered results or training tag information, priority training tags for that specific group via export results to CSV. So simply click export here to then take a export of that data. Any future results that fulfill the rules of this dynamic group will automatically be added in here for me. 
during this video, we have gone through two ways of exporting your results as well. The first was via the grouping tool here and using this drop down list here to select what it is that you want to export. Similarly, via dynamic groups, selecting from this drop down list here what it is that you want to export. And the third way of taking a data export is via our consolidated data export tool. And you'll find this on the home screen. Just below data analysis, you'll find an area called data export and you can click run export to take a consolidated data export for the account that you specify under this drop down list here on the left hand side. It is this consolidated data export that will become the data source for our Power BI template as well. In our next support video, we will go through the submenu performance where we will review charting possibilities within the KnowledgeSmart platform.